we want to find an equation for the graph of the degree four polynomial function and leave the function in factored form. Because we have a degree four polynomial function, we should recognize that we have at most four real rational zeros or roots of the function. Well, looking at the graph, we can see that all four roots or zeros are rational because this graph has four x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are negative three, negative one, positive two, and positive five, and these are also the roots or zeros of our polynomial function. So because we know the roots or zeros of our function, we can write the polynomial function in factored form using this form here, where a is a constant and r sub one, r sub two, r sub three, and so on are the roots or zeros of the function. But we're also going to have to find one more point on the function to determine the value of a. So let's go ahead and use the y-intercept here. The y-intercept is negative 15, so the coordinates at this point would be zero, negative 15. So to set this up, we'll first find the factors of our polynomial function from the zeros of the function, and then we'll use the point here to determine the value of a. So we'll have f of x equals a times, if one of the zeros is x equals negative three, then the factor must be x minus negative three or x plus three. If one of the factors is x equals negative one, then a factor must be x minus negative one or x plus one. Next, if we have a zero of positive two, we must have a factor of x minus two. And if we have a zero of positive five, we must have a factor of x minus five. Notice how the constants in our factors have the opposite sign of the zeros from our graph. If we sub these values into our function, one of these factors would be zero, therefore this product would be zero, and the function would equal zero, indicated by the graph. And now to find the value of a, we'll use this point here. If the function contains the point zero, negative 15, this means f of zero must equal negative 15. So we'll substitute zero for x and set this function value equal to negative 15. So if x is equal to zero, we would have a times three times one times negative two times negative five and this product must equal negative 15. So now we'll go ahead and solve for a. Three times one times negative two, that's negative six, times negative five is positive 30. So we have 30a equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 30. We have a equals, this simplifies to negative one half. So now we have all the information we need to write our polynomial function in factored form. Using this form of our function, we'll substitute negative one-half for a. So we'd have f of x equals negative one-half times the quantity x plus three times the quantity x plus one times the quantity x minus two and times the quantity x minus five. Notice if we multiplied this out, the leading coefficient would be negative and it's a degree four polynomial function. So notice as we move to the left and right, the function is going down, approaching negative infinity in both directions, which is what we expect with an even degree and a negative leading coefficient. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.